welcome to our post-lunch check-in. I'm Chris, <laughs> here with Hillary. Coming at you live from a random road on the Iranian border. Apparently terrorists live here. Yeah. We're going the other way. <laughs> Good chat. Welcome back to our tour across Turkey. We just spent a while cycling through the southeastern part of the country. It was early June and the temperatures were over 100 degrees Fahrenheit. The heat was getting to be too much for us, so we hopped a bus to the city of Van, which is quite a bit further north and over 5,000 feet above sea level. The next morning, we headed over to Akdamar Island, home of the Holy Cross Cathedral. It's just one of a few Armenian churches left standing in eastern Turkey. So this is uh, apparently a monastery. There used to be a palace. A palace and a chapel and recreation areas and the church for the Armenian king, I think. It was built in the 900s, the 10th century AD. It was used up until 1915. And then it became a shooting range for local people. And then they restored everything in 2006 and 2007. And I was here in 2008. And when I was here, there was no cross on the top of the church um, because the Turkish government government wasn't letting Armenian church put a cross on top of the church, but they have since reconsidered and they let them hold, I think, one service a year. I think it's in September. Hillary, other than birds, what two animals have we seen on this island? <laughs> and a tortoise. Then it was time for us to head out of Vaughn, but not without a stop at its iconic castle first. Where are we going? We are going to the Vaughn Castle. How old is it? Really old. It was first built and inhabited between the 9th and 7th centuries BC. BC built by the Urartians. Yeah. Ur Urartu. And there's Who's a the foundation of field stones with a top of mud brick, and that is all original mud brick. Yeah, <laughs> really old. While eating dinner on our way out of town, we experienced one of many random acts of kindness on this trip. Hey Hillary, what do you have there? I have uh, bread and tomatoes and cucumbers and cheese and cherries. And two and giant things of water. This was given to us by a man who just came up out of nowhere and said, hi, I bought you things here and then left. But we just bought them. And, and he bought us like 10 times more than we would ever buy for ourselves. We'll carry it a little ways, we'll Thanks. eat some of it. Thanks, dude. A lot of riding on the highway today. Which isn't the most fun, but at least it's pretty along the way. The wide shoulder on the highway eventually ran out, so we decided to take a windy country road to get away from the traffic. Our maps had become less and less reliable the further east we got in Turkey, and in the spot we decided not to follow a particularly muddy road and instead take a chance that the road we were on connected back to the highway. Yeah. <laughs> because I think that that thing uh, by the telephone pole uh -huh. on the edge might have been the uh -huh. other road. Yep, yep, yep. But we don't know where this road goes yet. I really hope this goes. I think it might go. We 
came back to the highway in the same state that we left. <laughs> Poor Tolbert. We've seen road signs for Syria, Iraq, and now Iran. Parts of the world that I've only ever thought of in regards to the news. Well, we just made a stop at Satan's Bridge, an old stone arch bridge across this narrow canyon. And now we're on our way, uh, taking the scenic route, hopefully. To a waterfall. Would you like to get a try for the uphill? Yeah. So some of our maps have a campsite labeled out this dirt road a little ways and uh, even though it's maybe a little bit earlier than we'd normally plan to camp, we're going to go check it out because otherwise the rest of the day is uphill and on the highway and may not be the best place to camp so we might save the rest of the climb for the morning. The campsite that was on our map is kind of just a wet field. It's very pretty, but it's just a wet field, so it's early enough in the day that we're gonna keep going. Hi, we found the campsite. It's in a little basalt canyon, and you can't see the canyon from the road, but you can see some nice trees from the road, and we headed that direction. We got here, and there was a man like on the hillside across from it. Making um, us feel weird about setting up a camp. Yeah, when someone could see us. So we waited a little bit and then it looked like it was gonna rain. So we came down to set up the tent. And then he eventually came down and like literally every interaction we've had with someone when we are camping or setting up camp Gorilla and we camping. get found, he was just like, isn't this a great spot? Like, nature is beautiful. <laughs> and then told us that one of the two creeks that feed this canyon, the one from the left, left is salty. So uh, I haven't, encountered that very often and wouldn't have expected it. Yeah. Um, so we got to go uh, wash off a little bit in the fresh one. Our bikes are up halfway halfway up the cliff behind us. We just had dinner and now we're gonna eat some more helva. Yeah. That's that's usually the plan. All right time for more helva. Good morning. A uh, quick update on last night. Everything went well. The only slight hiccup was some bright lights just as we were getting ready to go to sleep. Looked like they were searching the canyon. They shone the lights on the tent a couple of times and on the bikes, but then just kept moving down river. Probably just the army, uh, but whoever it was probably just saw us camping there and thought, uh, Yabanja, and uh, moved on. So. Uh, the sun is getting hotter, it's time for us to move on uphill a little further, up to, to see Mount, Mount Ararat. This is a good move. Well, our pleasant paved road has turned into a slightly less pleasant gravel road. But this returns us to the highway, and I'm sure by the time we get there, we'll be ready for some pavement again. Sidewalk construction crew. Just on the other side of that ridge is Iran. Really? Yep. That horse is not happy with us. We'll stay on this side of the road and be ready to keep the bike between me and the animal if needed. At least it has a rope, whether it goes to anything. It's okay, attack horse. So we just ate 
lunch. And we happened to be stopped next to a guard tower. They came down and said, we can go this way if we want, but it's not safe. But they recommended that we go the other way, and then we had them look at our map, and they said, oh yeah, the rest of your route looks great. Now we're gonna finish putting away lunch and go back to the uh, two-lane highway. And we have to go back by the attack horse. Attack horse! The new highway is so smooth. We're going 76 kilometers an hour right now. Right now it is raining on Mount Ararat, but it's kind of almost sunny here. Hoping for a rainbow. Biking with empty bikes today up a hill to go see the Ishak Pasha something. Palace. 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 That's just a word I'm familiar with. That was too easy. Maybe you can see it up the hill. Exploring the amazing Ishak Pasha Palace was definitely worth the climb, and the ride back down made the morning that much sweeter. On the section between cars and van, we met three other cycle tourists, which was more than any other part of our trip. Yes. Yeah. We saw your bike. Okay. Ours were in the basement. Yes, Stefan. Hillary. Hillary. Uh -huh. Chris. Chris. British. Uh, American. American. Americans. Okay. Yeah. Nice to meet you. French. 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 Next, we were off for a short but scenic day over the shoulder of Mount Ararat. 